Welcome, everyone, to The Real Hoobians Cast, episode 779. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Ray. What's up, Ray? This is the parting of Moffat. What's up, Steampunk Star Raisin? Of Amberstreet.com. Hello. All right, so this is the Moffat Quit Coverage, part one. Okay, Bob show came earlier, hours ago. That Stephen Moffat, well, first of all, we were correct in our reporting of the fact that there will only be one Doctor Who episode in 2016, just one, and that will be the Christmas special of 2016, and that is it. So we were That's correct. Sorry. Yeah, we were correct in that reporting. What's up, Sally? What's up? Oh, Sally. So Moffat had quit. He is going to finish off Series 10. Series 10 is going to be aired in spring of 2017. And the new showrunner is going to be Chris Chibnall from Broadchurch. And he's going to start his series as the showrunner in 2018. So, again, Moffat is going to have a 12 episodes in Series 10. He's going to be writing some of them. He's still the showrunner. He's also going to be doing stuff for class, but Moffat is gone as a showrunner after Series 10. Uh, Doctor Who, again, will only have a Christmas special as we predicted in 2016. So what do you have to say, Sally? Um, okay. <laughs> I mean, I, mean I, like, I like Broad Church, so I mean, it was really good. So I think he'll be all right. Right. Now, uh, David Tennant immediately thanked Chris Chibnall. They had like a little, I guess they're having a little party or something right now. And people like people like speculating, oh, man, odds are that David Tennant will probably appear a lot easier now if he was going to do like a, 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 a crossover or like a multi-doctor thing. It might be even more simpler now, because Moffat had his own rules about things. You know, Chris Chibnall, I don't know how it's going to be, but, it, it, you know, I think it's going to be better because I think that maybe finally we, we won't be restricted with certain things. Like maybe Chris Chibnall is open to classic companions returning, you know, or classic doctors returning. Hopefully he is. So, and classic villains. And Cla yeah, what do you have to say about that, uh, right? Well, I'm just, it's, I'm, it's sad that he's gone, it's gone, but it's great as well for all of us, because it means that we might get new ideas at last, and, and we might get, I'm like you just said, classic companions coming back to classic villains, and a lot more easier now. And um, then, because with Moffat, it was just like, yeah, I don't really want to bring him back if I can help it. Now we might just now we might just be like, let's bring him back straight away and let's not worry. What about you, Steampunk? Um, I don't know if that's good. I only have one episode for all of 2016. Well, that's bad. I, I, we all know that that's bad. But it, it, they're holding off Moffat season because they they. There's also the Olympics, and they're saying stuff, other different events, and you know things are gonna get kind of get screwed. Branded, branded by sports, that reminds me of like why Enterprise got canceled. So I mean, yeah, so, I, I don't know if that's good sign. It could kill the show if there's that long of a delay. Uh, unfortunately, again, all we're gonna have to deal with is one Christmas special this year. So, and again, Moffat right now. The way he what he said was it's funny. He says I'm no longer showrunner, but I'm still showrunner for series ten. He said, and I'm writing the episodes now, so he, it's kind of feeling weird to him. But um, hopefully he gives his best effort for series ten. Hopefully well, he goes my out query, the yeah. My my query on it is he was he forced to quit? I don't know. I don't think so. But the, but the thing is, I here's, now here's the opportunity now. Moffat has no choice. Will he answer all the plot holes and threads in the season? Will he take the season to answer all the questions that he raised? You know, I'm hoping he does. I'm hoping he answers and leaves Chris Chibnall with a nice, clean, 
you know, thing to do with his own, create his own mysteries and his own stuff. But hopefully Moffat will use Series 10 as a way to explain away things and, and have a huge, huge uh, story arc or something. I just think that anytime you have a disruption in production, it's bad. That's all. Uh, I think it's bad. Yeah, it's going to be bad. Yeah. I think it's, it's, bad. Bad. it's bad for us that there's one episode because there's nothing to talk about throughout the whole year. I mean, other than what we know they're going to film in May. Okay. But we'll be doing, I mean, this class is going to be there. Moffat is doing the class with, you know, so, I mean, we're going to have to deal with it. We're going to have to deal with it. And, again, it, it, it's not going to be. And, again, I, I, a lot of people, look, I don't like to be right sometimes. But, I, it, you know, you got to understand that, like, we're in that nightmare scenario where we're going to be, you know, Chris, if you don't count the Christmas special, it's like a year and a half without who. Okay? So, it I mean. Sucks. Yeah, which really sucks. So, I mean, you, you cast a Christmas special, okay, but you're literally not going to get a, a season of Doctor Who until the following year, half a year, which is like probably May or, or April or May. So, it's going to be a long friggin' time. And we're going to have to, you know, we're, we're, we're going to have to survive all our shows. And, and like I was just saying off air before um, everything else, I was saying... It seemed um, that this was done in the pipeline for a while because we were all speculating. Well, Moffat really was trying to Moffat was trying to find his replacement, and he did. So the moment, the moment he did, it was over. The announcements were made. This came, and and again, we you know we knew that something was coming. We knew that it was a bad sign that Doctor Who was only one episode this year. And usually when they do stuff like that, it's like the changing of the guard. It's like, all right, you know, you got to give the guy some time to get his own doctor, his own companions, his own stories, a new showrunner. So while we'll have Series 10, we'll have Chris Chibnall and his writers getting ready Series 11, which, again, won't air till 2018. So, and, of course, it'll probably be a different doctor. It, may, it might not be Peter Capaldi. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, because the odds are it would probably be easier for them to film and do stuff because while Peter Capaldi's filming Series 10, they can have their own doctor that they could possibly write and film for. So, we might, we might even see Captain Jack return. We might see, well, see, that's a Moffat and Russell T. Davis character, so I don't know. The door well, may be close enough. Well, what are they going to do with the new companion? Are they going to have him in Series 10 or Series Well, that's 11? another thing. Is Chris Chibnall going to choose the companion in the Series 10, mm. or is he going to just have him for one year and then goodbye companion? Like a shielder, isn't it? Now, now that character, we don't know what's going to happen with her. Well, basically, the show is on high edge. Thank you. <laughs> so, again, guys, um... You know, I don't know. Some people are taking the news good because they want Moffat gone. Some people are taking it bad. I think it's a good thing. I think I, it's time for a change. I wonder if this has to do with the low ratings that season nine got. I I don't know, but I honestly think this is a good thing. Moffat is still giving us one more season. Uh, I only thing I hope is Peter Capaldi stays, but I'm also curious about the companion. Yeah. Who, is this companion? And well, will she be with the new doctor? Here's why this why. could. Here's why this could be bad. There was a similar parallel history to Doctor Who uh, in 1989. In the late 80s, Doctor Who was starting to get low ratings, and they were like, "Well, we need to revamp, retool the show. The show is not canceled; it's on hiatus." And it was on hiatus from 1989 until 2005. <laughs> And so this basically means the show is on hiatus. There was reports of low ratings for the beginning of season nine. They'd be preempted by sports. It kind of reminded me of the fate of Enterprise. And uh, I'm worried that that might happen. It might just not come back on the air. It stays off. No, Doctor Who is basically, there was a contract signed that it's secure. So 2020. Okay. So 2020 they now look at it. They now look at it then. 
So the only problem I have, though, is, I, again, I, I would like to know, is Peter Capaldi going to stay with Chris Chib you know, Chibnall, or are they going to have a different doctor? Yeah, but that's too, again, it's too early, guys, because you know what, not for nothing, Moffat could probably write the Christmas special in, you know, I mean, if they're going to be filming Series 10 in May, he's probably going to write, they're probably going to film the Christmas special soon, I would think, because mm. it's going to get probably confusing where, you know what I'm saying, like, that's going to come first before the season. You know why I think I think I'm going to eat a cherry pie because it's delicious. There you go. Mm -hmm. Well, we, who knows? We might even have the Christmas special link into the first episode. I don't think so. I think it's a separate. I honestly think they're going to make it separate. But uh, Sally, are you happy that Moffat's gone or no? Well, I'm not one of those Moffat haters, but I think I'm not a Moffat hater either. But 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 I think it's something that needed to happen, and I think. The change is going to be good, but you're just going to have to go without Doctor Who for a while. Yeah. And that's, you know. How, how could you go without this, man? Come on. <laughs> oh, it's like my favorite thing. I just created all these new graphics in my YouTube channel. Come on. All right. So, what about you, Ray? I mean, are you happy Muffet's gone? Are you sad? Are you happy about Chris I'm 50 50 at the moment. Okay. I'm, uh, I'm not even. I'm. Uh, I, we know what Moffat's been capable of over the years, and when we first, when we get into Chris Chibnall's era, then we'll know exactly what he's capable of. Till right. then, I'm gonna have question marks. If you know what I mean. All right. And Steampunk, what do you think? You think it's bad? I think it's bad. Okay. Uh, again, it's a. It's gonna be a whole new ball game, people. So we're gonna be covering the story every day getting different opinions from our members uh, I think it's a good thing and hopefully Moffat gives it his all for his final season we get a lot of stuff wrapped up really nice alright so that's it guys take care bye for now bye